Thank you so much for this opportunity to, uh, to speak with you, and, and especially for your commitment to hear everyone's testimony. Please I state your name really for the is, record. Is uh, democracy in action. I'm Judy Cross. I live in, and work in Boise, and I'm a deacon in my church. Uh, I'm a nurse. I was the first clinical nurse specialist in Idaho. And I'm also the president of the board of directors for the Interfaith Alliance, which um, speaks from the hearts of a multiple of denominations and uh, faith groups across Idaho. I distinctly and sadly remember a time when I was homophobic and I was teaching nursing and had two lesbian students. Out of totally unfounded fear of what I didn't understand at the time, I watched them very closely when they were with female patients. My fear blinded me of their humanity, and I regret that ever since, because I was involved in a faculty-wide dis discrimination against those two young women. Um, and then ironically, I was married to a very loving, caring husband who realized after we had been married for 10 years that he was gay. He um, was also, and I was going to tell you more about him, but he was probably one of the first open Episcopal priests in Idaho. He um, lost his position um, after charges were brought against him, against us, for him being gay and us staying married. He, um, and through the course of, of dealing with all of that, I was, uh, I was told that I needed to find another place to live, another place to work, because people like me would find a better place uh, where I would be accepted, maybe in San Francisco, instead of in Idaho, where people just, you know, don't act like that. Thankfully, um, even though uh, we lost our home, our children were bullied, they uh, have scars to this day because of the bullying and the harassment that they received. But the, thankfully, with, in Boise now, that wouldn't happen because we have our non-discrimination ordinance. But that does still occur in many places of, of our uh, great state. Many gay and transgender persons have been hurt by their churches and have run away from their churches and have lost their faith. I've not lost my faith, although it, it fa has faltered at times. But discrimination is not a part of my faith. Another piece that I wanted to bring to you is that one of my administrators has been um, working very hard to recruit specialists to come to our hospital and work with our high-risk patients. And she's complained to me multiple times in the last couple of years that, that she cannot get the specialists here because they refuse to come to some place where they can't bring their partners and feel safe and comfortable in their employment. It's very important at this time, I believe that you have a special time right now for such a time as this, our honored, honorably elected officials. It is your chance to make a positive difference for our gay and transgender constituents, as well as set a tone for care and safety for all discrimination, to end all discrimination rather than codify the freedom to discriminate and deny a group of people protection to make a living, live securely, and obtain basic services. I urge you to find the compassion in your hearts that you have for all your constituents in this great state and send House Bill 2 with a due pass to the floor. I am a person of faith and I believe that you are here for this important mission now for such a time as this. Thank you very much for your time, for your attention your compassion, and your integrity in adding the four words, no more, no less. I stand for a question. Are there questions? Thank you.